Hi, Michael. Great to see you this afternoon at the Wilderness Club. Just want to recap on some parts we worked on today on the swing. So we can have a look at you first, and we're going to compare you to Hunter Mahan on the right. So as you start to take the club away, Michael, you're going to notice that the club head goes to the right-hand side of the ball at this frame here. So we can see definitely if I draw a line through the club, it's definitely on the right-hand side. If we look at Hunter's here, as he starts to take the club away, you're going to see that his club head starts to go on the inside, OK? Now that's really important because that starts to change the reaction to the golf swing. With your club going outside, unfortunately, you can see here, you're almost picking the club up like an axe, like you would do in the garden to chop some wood. So we can see here how sharp, how steep that shaft is. If we look at Hunter's here as he swings the club more around his body, we can see he's in a very different position. So it's almost at a 45 degree angle that, and he's just pointing at the ball. When you get to the top of your swing, Michael, we'll be able to see how close your hands are to your head when compared to Hunter's is further away. And that's because he's swinging the club more around his body, almost like a baseball bat or like we talked about your squash racket. If he was going to hit the ball, the wall, ball's come off the wall and he's going to hit it, your racket would definitely be more behind you here as opposed to being in front of you. So that's really important, that sort of width here at the top of your head. The next bit to look at, Michael, was really that club face. You can see how open yours is compared to his at the top of his swing. And his is, his is in a better position because his grip was slightly better. We needed to make your, to fix that, we needed to make your right hand stronger. Kept, we keep the, kept the left as it was, but the right hand, you remember I wanted your right hand to go a little bit more underneath the grip. So the line that forms between your thumb and your index finger, that sort of crease, I want you to get that outside your right shoulder. Okay, Before it was pointing more at your chin, and now I want it to point a little bit more at your right shoulder. As you start to come down, we can see that unfortunately you're just going to sort of chop across it, almost like running to the tennis court and hitting like a little cut shot of the net. We can definitely see your club head is now going to be working left and across it, which is why you was hitting it short. So you're almost trying to sort of scoop the ball up in the air as opposed to give it an absolute crunch. OK, so just to recap, really easy. I got you to set up. I wanted you to set up on a wall or your bush in your garden, sort of this distance, so about three foot apart here for me. And then as you take the club away, I want you to try and find the bush. So that's going to get you swinging it on a much flatter position. So I'd like to see your left arm a little bit more across you here and then the club head clapping, hitting into that bush there. So that, that would help you. So really easy, just get that club swinging more around your body, Michael and get that right hand a little bit stronger and underneath. If you get any of it, just pop in the shop. But as we could see at the end, driver is going a lot longer and straighter, and the irons were good. And as you started to get some confidence, you was actually able to sort of rip through it and give it an absolute whack, which is much more what we're looking for. If we look at Hunter's here, as he comes in to deliver the club, we can see his club's much more from the inside, attacking the ball. Very, very strong. And we can see here the club is in a much different position. Look how much lower that is in the body as opposed to yours, is coming straight up. And yours is because yours is almost like an up and down swing where Hunter's much more rotary. And like I said to you about your back, this is really going to protect the back as you're swinging the club up, your spine changes, and as you come back down, it changes again, and it, your spine just straightens, which is putting some problems on your discs. So, Michael, work on that. Right hand, a little bit more underneath. Back swing, get that club swinging much more around your body. Clip that bush in the garden with the air balls, and uh, all 